One of my warm-ups, you know, and David Ginn talks about warm-ups a lot. One of my warm-ups is I might come in and I'll, I'll do something like this. Oh. <laughs> what I do is I try to look at the show from the perspective of, of the kids and try to be as surprised that things are happening as they are. And then I'll take the same diaper and I'll be like, do you guys want to see it disappear? And they're like, yes. I'm like, yes. I'm like, where'd it go? And you know, everybody says you go on your shirt. But you're making the kids automatically smarter than you. They're automatically figuring stuff out. Kids, seven and eight and nine year olds, will figure out the tricks. Preschoolers are never put in a position where they can figure out what you're doing. I let them figure out stuff all the time. Hold on a second, guys. The phone's ringing. Hello! Hello! Guys, hold on a moment. Hello! Hold on, guys. The phone's ringing again. Hello! Hello! I mean, I would have people call me up, I kid you not, and I'd be looking at a blank page. Be like, um. I got a spot between, I, no, no. Um, I, I think, I got an 11 or a one open, which one do you want? You know, uh, I got an 11 or a one, we'll take the 11, boom. I was creating urgency before there was urgency. And I do those random little, little things that make them feel good about their kid, you know? Doesn't matter what you do outside of that. Because guys, I'm telling you, I do come in with my rules. Before I was doing any shows and I'd be looking at a blank page, you know, I'd have fake conversations. Like I'd be at Starbucks and I'd be like, I'd be like um, talking on the phone and I'd be like, um, you know, I'd see a mom with a three-year-old come walking by and I'd be like, yeah, I do three-year-old parties. Um, oh man, no, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm completely booked up uh, on that weekend. But you know, and I hang up and she does, you do three-year-old parties? I'd be like, yeah, what's your name? Boom. And I'll be like, hey, let me show you something. I'll do a little something for the kids right there. But I wasn't doing something for that one particular kid. I was doing one thing, one thing because that particular mom is, is going to her mom's group and be like, hey, man, I met, I met this guy that you know did this. And he just sat down and entertained. Uh, one o'clock, you guys. <laughs> Say great to Dini, what time is it? Man. you next year your business will increase because your word and I'm all word of mouth guys I haven't advertised or had one print ad out in over seven years and I'm doing probably close to 400 shows you know every single year and it's all it's all word of mouth and I think part of the word of mouth is people feel like they know you and can relate to you it was from that moment that I made the decision that I was from now on just gonna own my show I was gonna say this is how I'm gonna do things you know, if you look at a parent and you just say, trust me, you know, I don't know the first thing about accounting or being a lawyer, but this is what I do.